Hello everyone. So what we have here now is the Toshiba Canvio Basics. So this is a 4 terabyte external hard drive. So let's inspect the box. And there you have it. And this is yung decode niya. Then this is the side. So this is uh, a external hard disk drive meaning hindi pa siya SSD so uh, if you're going to store a lot of files and at rest lang sila meaning hindi nyo masyadong gagamitin or gagalawin parang i-store nyo lang siya uh, usually uh, or archiving ganyan or backup and those files are not uh really used no in everyday or operational basis uh, it is still advisable to use uh, hard disk no instead of ssd ssd are fast and if you're going to cop need to copy files every now and then and then use them in a certain for example uh, you're editing video you need to copy files from your camera and then so on and so forth uh, ssd would be great However, if you just need to have a storage wherein you can just put all your files that are not uh, really used uh, in daily basis, no, uh, hard disk drive is still a good um, storage device. So let's open this one. Nakasil pa siya. Kunin natin yung ding gunting. And actually, sticker lang naman to. Pwede natin siyang ano yun na lang. So, this one was bought sa DynaQuest. So, you can visit their website naman. They have items there. Hirap niya mo na. We need a cutter. So, for those who are uh, planning to buy an external hard drive, so I hope uh, if you consider this one buying, mm -hmm, I hope this uh, short video uh, could help you decide now. Yan. So upon opening the box We have this Another small box inside Then You have some manuals here Paperwork There you have it Then yeah, This is Toshiba Then you have this uh, Hard drive uh, Since it is a 4TB External hard drive Let's open this one Medyo may kabigatan siya. And hindi siya slim, no? <clears throat> so, this one. So, medyo uh, uh, bulky siya compared to uh, the other slim case na nakikita nyo yung external hard drive na tig 1 terabyte. Uh, it looks like a wallet no? yung fold na wallet ganyan so medyo ganun yung uh, kanyang size and then we have here of course yung kanyang cable so USB 3.0 type A then 3.0 so nothing special naman dito and that's it for the box so if you want to measure the dimensions let's get some uh, measuring item so let's have this ruler and yeah so that away lang siya dimension niya so ang kanyang uh, kanyang sabihin natin 
length nga is for almost uh, lagpas ng 4 inches and then ang height niya is 3 so 3 by 4 something then yung width niya and uh, less than 1 inch and and hindi, siya, hindi naman siya ganun kabigat so medyo lightweight naman siya so this is a good uh, I think this is a good item for uh, your art files that to be back up and hindi niya naman gagamitin everyday I have reviewed some uh, SSD from SanDisk naman which is this one so this just a I think 500 ah, terabyte so, ito yung ginagamit ko when I need to transfer file since SSD to mas mabilis yung speed niya. And if I need to, uh, for example, uh, edit files na nandito mismo. Yeah. Of course, sa read and write, mas uh, lamang SSD will always win. Yan. Pero if you want a long-term storage, hard disk drive is still uh, the best. So, I'll try to copy files para makita niya yung speed niya on a typical PC. Ayan. So, ito siya guys. Uh, I already uh, put our Toshiba hard drive on our PC. And ito na siya na-detect siya. So, usually hindi naman full 4 terabyte yung laman niya. And this is... Uh, recently plugged in lang so I haven't done anything yet and yeah so to check kung saan siyang USB interface na kasaksak we can go to device manager and then sa view click nyo lang to then devices by connection then I uh, nilagay ko siya dun sa 3.0 ito and and then let's see no yung under niya. Ayan. So, dito siya nakasaksak sa port na USB 3.0. And we will try to copy files and check kung gano'n siya kabilis. Of course, again, ang speed ng SSD versus the hard disk drive is not uh, uh, they cannot compete no, with each other. Kasi surely, ang uh, nanalo si SSD. So, this is just, an hard, this is just a hard drive, no? So, copy tayo ng files. Bakit natin itong Toshiba. And then, I will copy files from this drive. Then, let's say this Boruto. Copy natin siya. And then, paste natin dito. So, that's the speed now while copying the files. And around 100 MB and averaging around 100 so this might take of course like some minutes no? so, so we're copying like a 32 gig file and according to the uh, estimated time is 5 minutes so let's see if 5 minutes nga siya. So, tab 13. So, around 12. Before 12, 8, no? Or 18. And dapat tapos na siya mag-copy. So, when you're using uh, USB Type A uh, with a uh, 3.0 version, and yun yung speed niya. Of course, this has something to do with how Windows perform the copying, no? Uh, as per my experience, copying files using Windows is slower, no? Than using Mac. However, kasi sa Mac, Type-C ang gamit niyang interface, di ba? So, masabalis talaga yung Type-C. I also tried uh, on my laptop na Windows na Type-C din. Mabilis din naman, no? Pero, uh, Windows creates some virtual memory kasi while copying. Unlike kay Mac, uh, it's not creating a virtual memory. For example, I have a 500 
gigabyte na external storage. When I copy, and then ang frame niya is around, sorry na 10, 50 gig. Then I'm copying a 30 gig file to that uh, storage. So Windows somehow create like a virtual buffer no? while copying. And although the file is still, uh, the capacity of the hard drive which is 50 gig remaining is still able to cater yung 30 gig na ikakapi ko. Sinasabi nila not enough memory na. However, sa Mac, I didn't encounter it. No? Uh, hindi siya nagkikreate ng something like ganun. So, if I'm copying files to my SSD uh, and then yung capacity niya is like 50 gig remaining tapos yung kakapi ko is 50, uh, 40, 30, ganyan. Masama ka ko nag mako-OS ako nagkakapi. So, according dito, 2 minutes and we're down like a around 2 minutes na rin tayo nag ano nagkakapi. So, I'll be just, ayan, leaving this one na ganyan until mapatapos siya para makita niyo yung kung gano'n siya kabagal or kabilis. So, somehow okay naman siya. So, there's none, uh, there's no other application naka-open for now. Uh, what I'm just using is uh, Firefox and then the copying, yun lang yung task na, na ginagawa and naka-open yung excel file and other than that there's no other I.O. devices that I'm using so typical keyboard and mouse lang so yan, keyboard mouse lang to. Uh, of course uh, pag may other task ginagawa yung machine ninyo it might uh, sa CPU scheduling na it might affect how the of course instructions are executed I think uh, consistent yung kanyang 100 MB and of course mababa siya and umakit ulit depending on the uh, how it is executed So the 5 minutes copying of a 30 Google, 30, around 33 na no, gig file is uh, close to reality. And so I'm using a TeraCopy software there. TeraCopy yung nagkakopy. Okay, malapit na siya matapos. And yeah, that's it. No? Sakto siya. No? Uh, yung 5 minutes niya is realistic Ayan. so thank you for watching guys I hope uh, if you're going to buy this uh, hard drive eh, nakatulong tong video na to also please like and subscribe now. so another thing guys before we end uh, I almost forgot now I just plug in our external hard drive and if you check on the format it is using the NTFS by default so if you want your hard drive to be accessed by Mac and Windows and your hard drive is large in size such as 2 terabyte above like that it is advisable to use XFAT this one as your format because if you're using NTFS it, uh, only Windows can do write on that uh, format so if your hard drive is NTFS and then you plug it into your Mac machine uh, you can read the files but you cannot uh, put or write files in that hard drive so if you want both uh, Mac and Windows <coughs> to have read and write operation use XFAT instead so you may of course always research no, on the different formats or storage formats for which will be suitable for your uh, storage devices so you may also try to do uh, partitioning your hard external hard drive since this is a 4 terabyte hard drive for me it is advisable to like um, partition it into like 2 terabytes 2 terabytes or 1 terabyte no, per uh, partition 
So of course this will depend on the use and yeah, partition uh, has its own ano naman, advantage and disadvantage. So always check your uh, use uh, if it is applicable or not. So I think that's all and again thank you.